Hey, how you doing? Good, too. Good. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Just how much better do you feel physically right now than you did you know, a year ago when the season started? Oh, man, it's like it's like night and day. You know what I mean? Um, obviously, I came back after that um, after that injury I had and played and, uh, that, that year, but even though when I was playing, it still didn't feel like I was quite where I needed to be. You know what I mean? And obviously, you can kind of see it if you watch me. I don't know if you know me. So, you know, this year, it's like a totally different ball game. Like I said, it's like night and day, man. Uh, did a lot of work in the off season and it paid off. How you difficult played. was that? How difficult was that for you to watch yourself on film and go, man, that doesn't look like me? Uh, it, it was hard, you know what I mean. But that was that was the motivation throughout the whole off season, just watching that and knowing where I'm at and, and knowing what I can do. It was just the fact of, man, we got to do everything in our power to get back here. You know what I mean? Can, can you explain what that's like, knowing you can play at a certain level and then? not being added and you know even seeing holes that maybe that would be a big run or do you do you have those thoughts when you're watching it so? oh yeah most definitely you know and those are the most nerve-wracking you know what I mean? because it's always hey i could do this i can do this i can get this much better and then on top of that when you got guys like we got now i mean that makes it even more harder because everybody can go so it's just like i ain't got too many out you know what i'm saying so like it's that much better that i got to get the job done but was there a point when you noticed I feel like myself again, like in the off season or whenever. Uh, it was like kind of like OTAs. That's when I felt it. We had um, we had great OTAs. That um, I felt like felt like it was one of my better ones since I've been here. And not only on the field, it was off as well. Playbook, body, just the whole nine. So yeah, it was it was great for me. You've been on this team for a long time. You started in the practice squad, went to the bottom of the depth chart. Now you're a really good starting running back. Do you feel like you've improved over the years, or you just got an opportunity? Uh, no, I'd definitely say improve uh, because, I mean, I've known, I know way more than I know now from when I first got in and even the second year, even the third. So every year I always learn and I gain knowledge. I always find people that I can learn from and grow from. I always go back to the film. So, yeah, I'll say I'll definitely. Knowledge of the scheme, defenses. Every, everything. The defense, our side, their side, looks, techniques, uh, people, tendencies, just the whole nine. It's just, you know, becoming more of a, of a pro. Jeff, in terms of the blocks that you're getting on those fairly big runs the last three games, when you is it a blur when you're running through them, and then when you go back on film, is it a way for you to appreciate more how they've executed them? Oh, no, I appreciate it on the field. Shoot, yeah. like, I mean, <laughs> like I said, obviously you can see it and everybody watch film. Everybody got their little breakdown and cut-ups. All you got to do is watch it. I mean, shoot, even one of y'all could have ran through that hole, you know what I mean? So it's just the fact that I was just the guy that was available and he was in at that time, and those guys are great, man. Travis said he believes part of your you excelling this season is your confidence. How much does that play into how you're able to Oh, oh, that's 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 really the key factor. You know what I mean? It was just the fact of, of last year being shaky about my leg, or oh, I'm not playing good, or oh, I feel like one of my want me free agency up. So I just had like a a lot of things out on my mind, and at the end of the day, it was just reverting back to myself. Like I trusted myself more than I, you know, what I mean, trusting anybody in the world. So like with that being said, just don't worry about all the extra. Put your head down and work. I mean, along those lines, but how do you handle that when, you know, you might be kind of lower on the depth chart and they're they're drafting guys in the third round two years in a row and, uh, you know, how, where you start in the offseason program, how do you, and you, you've been a leading rusher here, like how do you filter all that stuff through your, in your uh, mindset? I feel like the journey and how everything is set up for you to get to the league you already endure more, most of those things. So like coming out of coming out of high school, for instance, getting to college, bottom of the depth chart. I didn't get work my way up until about my second, third year. But even then, they still recruiting guys, still drafting guys. I'm still hosting guys on my visit, and these are guys potentially coming to take my spot. You know what I mean? And I know that, and it's not necessarily a, oh, I'm not going to talk to you, my oh, I'm coming to take your spot. It's just, you know what I mean? It's the nature of the game. Everybody knows it, and nothing you have to talk about it, be boastful about, but everybody knows how it plays out. So I just feel like just the football life already sets you up and gets you ready for all that. So the only thing you really got to do is not worry about it and work. Which I'm on the GPS tracker, you hit 21 miles an hour right around there a couple of times this year. Can you remember what the maybe the highest speed you hit last year when you were coming back from? And do you, can you feel that difference in, in terms of your speed? Uh, yeah, I, I, I can't even 
probably can't even tell you what I hit last year. You know what I mean? It probably wasn't good. So <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't even think about it. But yeah, this year, like I said, it just goes back to the work that we put in the off season, the people I worked with. You know, um, and and just like you said, that confidence factor, just trusting myself. Did your own, did the team's GPS data match up with what uh, next gen stats had you at? Like I think it was. 20.85 or something like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was pretty close. I didn't see too much. It was like 20.82, 20.85. So okay. It was around the same. So it was around the same. Yeah. Does, does that ever get highlighted? I mean, do do, do pe people cite you like you were the fastest guy this week on the team and anything like that? No, not necessarily because, I mean, I feel like, you know, you can't be naive to the situation. Obviously, if we would get up on a ran a 100-yard race, you know what I mean? Right. I, I wouldn't say I bet on myself to come in first if everybody was racing, you know what I mean? But, you know what I mean? Like, I, at the same token, though, I was good because, I mean, I ain't the slowest either, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, that was, it was kind of like a give and take. Is it, is it posted anywhere? Do guys, like, come up and say, oh, guys, uh... <laughs> Nah, I wish, man. Nah, that's more of a, I guess you'd say that's self-goal, like, that's, that's kind of like selfish in a way, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, I mean, everybody knows, everybody sees it, like, everybody got social media, so you don't need to post it or do anything extra, you know what I mean? What did you feel about that number, though? Were you pretty pleased with that? Oh, yeah, I definitely was, you know what I mean? Like I said, coming off that injury, man, like, just not feeling out. I didn't even know I ran that fast until they came up and told me after the game. So, like, I, if you would have came, what you think you just ran? I was probably 18, 19, you know what I mean? So. It was just, it was, it was great. When you talk about the work Last that you've been in the off season, how long into your career did it take you to understand exactly what you needed to do? Honestly and truthfully, my third year, it was like after the um, after the injury. That's when I, I kind of like woke up. That's why I said God worked in mysterious ways. So I think he put me through that for a reason. So I was able to sit out and just reflect on a lot of things. And not only in football, and in life. You know, I'm a father, I'm a, I'm a family man, I'm a brother, I'm an uncle. So. It was just able to revert me back to life and, and get me away from stop being so caught up in the game and understand that life still goes on on the outside. All right, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.